everyone, what is up, and welcome back to Seinfeld's Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories Let's Play. I hope you all are doing amazing, because I am. I just got a new car. Well, it's a used car, but it's technically technically a new car for me, because, you know, I've never had the car before, so it's new for me. Ha ha. It's a 2004 Toyota Camry Solara convertible, uh, pearl white, heated leather seating, auto air conditioner. So I set it to a certain temperature. It'll automatically adjust to it and keep it at that temperature. And, uh, what else? Oh, and uh, it's all electric, you know, electric city and everything. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. Anyway, okay, so what we're going to be doing next and for the next, well, this video and the next video, I think is two of the most difficult, uh, what do you call it? Most difficult uh, side missions because of time limit. Well, this one, I think it's mainly because of time limit. The next one is because the vehicle is just kind of difficult to control. Uh, but yeah, I hate this one, especially because of the time limit. Like, I highly 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 suggest you do this one a few times uh, in order to get it just right uh, in order to memorize the path the layout and everything this one's gonna be a multi-vehicle checkpoint race you must be a beat a time limit of four minutes and 30 seconds I've had to record this one several times this is like my sixth try I think of doing this sixth or seventh try of doing this one because the first times I screwed up terribly uh, the very last one I did I went over by two seconds Two freaking seconds! So let's do the land, sea, and air ace. <laughs> Alright, the first part is going to be on the Sanchez. Uh, I suggest just holding down the uh, gas button hard. Do not lean forward just yet. Careful through the bushes. Uh, whenever you're going over the pedestrian bridge, you know, don't worry about killing people. It, because especially during the day, uh, you're going to have a lot more people on that bridge. If you have to run over them, make sure you don't get any higher than a two-star wanted level uh, because of that bribe that you should have uh, seen me go through. And also, uh, be careful for that wall that I just passed because there's those two short walls. Be careful very much for that. Um, you really cannot mess up here at all. Uh, you cannot really veer off course. Uh, Please be very careful whenever you get here. Kind of drive more to the left if need be. Quickly get over here to the jet ski. Lean forward as much as you can. Um, try not to do this whenever it's raining because the waters will be very choppy. Uh, whenever you have to hit R1, uh, remember for the jet ski, hitting R1, it makes the jet ski turn like at a dime. It's very, very sharp turning, so be very careful for that because it can throw you off course and completely screw you up. So whenever you have to turn sharply, just tap R1, or see, like, like I did there, I just barely tapped R1 so I wouldn't hit the rocks. Um, and like I said, lean forward as much as you can. You'll know you'll be leaning forward uh, well enough, I guess, because the uh, sound of the engine will be a bit higher, a higher tone, whatever you want to call it. Um, and also, if this, there's sunlight in your eyes, because this game, yeah, it's kind of blinding, but it's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> like, especially whenever the sun's setting, um, it will kind of blind out some of the uh, checkpoints. So if that does happen, remember to always look down at your radar um, for where the next checkpoint will be located. And Whenever you get kind of to this area, uh, you'll be going through all the canals and everything. Careful with hitting the walls. Whoa, that was close. Try to keep as straight a path as possible. There we go. Yeah, try to keep as straight of a path as possible. Be careful with hitting the, what, the docks, the wooden docks, wooden piers, whatever you want to call it. And whenever you get to this corona, turn sharp left immediately, heading to the next one. Kind of aim towards the right if you can. And you'll be getting right here to the Sea Sparrow. I think the time I'm still doing all right on time. Uh, I think I'm, actually, I think I'm still doing great on time. Huh. Please let me get... Oh, gosh. You have no idea how annoying it is getting two seconds over the time limit. <clears throat> And always keep an eye on the radar as well to know where the next corona is going to appear so you can actually start turning that way. And you know, of 
course, the arrows will show if it's higher or lower, um, and if you need to go kind of left and right. And try not to get too far outside of the corona or even on the corona, corona ring because it will not count and you'd have to back up. And if that happens, like I said, might as well forget it. Might as well start over. Gosh, I really hope this works. Please, I beg of you, I beg of you, I beg of you. Said, try to keep the plane as straight as possible. Try not to make the turns too big. Uh, know where the next corona is going to be. Just kind of drift that way towards the corona. Oh my god, am I going to get it? Am I going to get it? Oh my, OMG, OMG, OMG. I'm going to get it, people. I'm going to freaking get it! <laughs> yes! 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 <coughs> and you get $500. <gasps> oh, I got a drink now. I got a drink to that. Oh my god, that was amazing. I love that. I need health, but I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so that's how you do it, people. That is how you do it. Alright, then after you're done with that, keep on heading straight forward. Pass Sanchez over here to this plane. Uh, like I said, the difficult thing about this is that the plane is kind of difficult to control. But I want to get these out of the way, and of course this will be on the next video as well. So, I will talk to you all then. So can I get up? Oh crap, no I can't. Okay, well, I will pause it here. Next video, I will get in this plane and we will do the next side mission, which, like I said, difficult because of the handling. So, love y'all. Peace out. So happy. Everyone should take a drink for me. And if you're young, then, you know, a drink of, I don't know, milk or something. I don't know. Anyway, okay, love y'all. Peace out. Yeah!